Hey guys, Steph here, and today's training is how to go from burnout to success in your business and life. We are wrapping up the year. It's the last day of 2017. Are you ready? If so, let's do this. If you haven't joined us already, come on over to Work Smarter, Not Harder. It's our free community group on Facebook. Just ask to join. Lots of free trainings in there where we support each other. And we even do a go live for five challenge. So if you are nervous about going live or creating videos, but you know it's the way of the future, come on over and we will support you through the entire process so that you feel comfortable going live and using video to grow your business in 2018. The group's called Work Smarter, Not Harder. And if you find this information useful, press that little share button on the bottom so that your friends and family can learn from this too. We'll get started here, so grab a tea or coffee and let's get to work. We'll be together for about 20 to 30 minutes, so grab your journal and replay viewers. I look forward to your comments as well. I'll come back and answer any questions after the training. All right, you ready? There I am in that chair. Look at me go. I am all relaxed, laid back. Wouldn't that be nice? That was a photo shoot from this summer. And I'll tell you guys, it wasn't always that way. About two years ago, so not too long ago, I was actually burnt out. I was scattered. So don't be afraid. If you are not exactly where you want to be, it doesn't take long. And I'm going to share with you the exact four-step process I did to completely transform my business and life. And most importantly, dig myself out of burnout because burnout is not fun. And if you are there, give me a comment. And business owners, if you haven't hit it already, please avoid it by following these four steps. All right, this web class is perfect for you if you are a multi-passionate business owner, a health coach, an entrepreneur, a high achiever, a perfectionist. You are a free bird and you love to travel. This is perfect for you if you are ready to do things different in 2018. You know there's another way. All right, so in December 2015, I pretty much had it all on paper. I had multiple revenue streams. My business was successful. I was a food rep, a dietitian in medical clinics, a yoga teacher. I had it all, right? Wrong. I was burnt out and scattered. Could you imagine doing all those things? And I actually had low iron. So I was doing all of those things without even full health. And trying to be a health coach when I was burnt out that was misaligned. Okay, so my turning point was actually implementing these exact four steps that I'm going to share with you today. So stay tuned. If you too are scattered, burnt out, you don't know where to start, but you know there's another way, you want to feel that freedom, you want to be traveling and running your business from anywhere in the world, and most importantly, you want to feel good. You know that working 14-hour days is not cool anymore. Okay, so not using a process led me to exhaustion, burnout, scattered energy, resentment. I was actually resentful for friends and family, for potential clients coming at my business because I really had no extra energy to give. So now I am thrilled when people ask me questions about my business, when they want free advice, because I have the energy and the systems and the processes in place. So if that sounds familiar, if you're sick and tired of giving free information, there is another way because that's actually how we market online is we give valuable content to attract our ideal client. So not having a process led me to a complete low vibration, which guess what guys is a money and customer repellent. That's right. So basically, if you don't feel good, do not. Try to get in front of people and try to sell your stuff. Instead, do things to make yourself feel good. Raise your vibration. All that means is raise your mood. So listen to YouTube videos, dance in the kitchen, go to yoga, play with dogs, do whatever you need to do. Do anything but sell. You might think 
to make more money, you need to sell, you need to work harder. Not the case. That actually repels potential clients. Okay, so let me just tell you, when I made my first K month in my business, in my side hustle, I was actually working full time. So if you're working a full time job and your business is a side hustle, not to worry. This process is beautiful because it isn't 14 hour days. It's about leveraged income and creating pro pro a process that you can actually, you're no longer trading your time exactly for money. You're leveraging the social media channels and where people are already hanging out so that you have a 24 hour sales team. And it's not you, <laughs> it's not just you doing this. You're doing your work once and it is being used over and over again to sell for you and share your message. Big thing there is when you are sharing your authentic story, it doesn't feel like selling. All you're doing is sharing your story, sharing value and the right people will come. So when I implemented these four steps and made my first 5K month in my business, not in my full-time jobs, I was actually working a full-time job. I was working multiple full-time jobs, actually. I was a bit of a workaholic. Um, so the major mindset, mindset shift that I did was I started to be grateful for these temporary jobs, these short-term contracts that were pulling in enough money so that I could easily put beautiful energy into my business instead of scattered um, energy where we're clawing for clients or clawing for money. So it's really important to come at it from an angle where you are not feeling desperate, right? It's all about vibration. If you're feeling low, your job is not to sell. Your job is to raise your vibration. So if you are still in a job that you hate, change, do that simple switch with your mindset and your business will actually start to grow. Because once you start focusing on the good, you're actually going to be grateful for this job or this temporary position that's getting you to your deeper desires. And what that's going to do is allow you to speak about your business and grow your side hustle authentically. And a little trick too around the holidays, Christmas parties, New Year's parties, when people ask you what you do, do not talk about your job. Talk about your side hustle. Talk about whatever you want to grow. Huge turning point for me. I used to hate going to parties because people would ask me what I did and I would respond with, oh, I'm a dietitian. And then they would respond with, oh, can I have a meal plan? And I didn't want to be giving meal plans. So now I am thrilled when people ask me what I do because it's an opportunity to share my story. I help health coaches quit their day jobs. How cool is that? And I'm sharing the exact thing I want to grow in my business. Okay, here it is in a nutshell. We are going to go into detail in each of these four steps, but I'll give you a quick overrun. The first step is to clear clutter. If you don't do this first step, don't bother doing the rest. If you're full up to the top, if you are scattered, there is no point in adding on an extra side hustle or trying to grow your business because all that's going to do is stress you out and you're actually going to associate your business with negative feelings. So the first step is to actually clear out your cup. And I'll walk you through how to do this um, in more detail. Step number two is to niche now down like a ninja. You are no longer a health coach. You are no longer a yoga teacher, a dietitian, a fitness instructor. Whatever you went to school for, you are no longer identifying with that name. We are picking you a specific niche so that you can help that specific person and they know for sure 100% what you have to offer is perfect for them. Step number three is to create your financial action plan. This doesn't have to be fancy, but it has to be clear. Step number four is to take action and kick butt in a launch, a two-week launch. You're not constantly selling. You're conserving your energy and really focusing in. So the two things that are uh, very important for success are to actually ask for the sale. So a lot of people get caught in that content creation mode and we get stuck in all of our beautiful creative energy, but we forget to ask for the sale. So that's what step number four is. Okay, digging a little bit deeper here. Let me grab a little sip of coffee and we'll move right along. Share this out with your friends and family if it is uh, indeed useful to you. And 
join us in Work Smarter, Not Harder, a free community group on Facebook where we share other trainings like this, support each other, and we actually have a go live for five free challenge where you can get in front of your ideal clients and really practice going live, doing things like this, as well as um, going live with myself. We do interviews, all that good stuff. So come on over. It's called Work Smarter, Not Harder you can write in the comments, I'll get you the direct link as well. I'm offering free clarity calls. The link's in the description. You can book in my calendar there to get clear on your business goals for 2018. Okay, let's move right along. Step number one, clear the clutter. So I've gone to a lot of seminars and all of the big leaders and mentors in my life, they are all saying this step. That's why it's so important as well this was one of the major things that I did when I really turned over with my business. So all you have to do, it doesn't have to be fancy. All you have to do is grab a piece of paper and list out where all your energy is going. So people, places, things, jobs, do not skip over this step. If you do, don't bother doing step two, three, and four. So all you do is you write down where all your energy is going and you just give it a number from one to 10. One is it's a complete energy sucker. It's a vampire. You wish you didn't have to do it. And 10 is no problem. You would love to do this over and over again. And all you're doing is really um, getting real with where your energy is going, where your reality is, as well as giving yourself the opportunity to let go of things, people, places, things, jobs, that are total drainers because we get to create our life. We don't have to react to whatever comes along. So if your job is an energy drainer, not to worry. You can either make peace with it or change it. And don't just have it as a fluffy idea because all of a sudden five years from now, you're gonna be in the exact situation you are in right now. So instead, make a plan. 90 days is my favorite. I help people quit their jobs in 90 days as well. That's what I did. I really set out for 90 days to did these exact four steps, hired a business coach, and that was my turning point. It was no longer a dream. It became my reality. If 90 days is too scary for you, go for a year, but don't leave it up to randomness. Make a plan. Okay, step number two, niche down like a ninja. Some of you know what this word means. Some of you think it's crazy. But basically, you want to be known for a specific thing. You are no longer a health coach, a yoga teacher, a fitness instructor, a business uh, mentor. You be specific. What do you specifically help people do? And this will make it easier for your potential clients to identify if what you have to offer is what they want to buy. So people purchase things if it moves them away from pain or closer, closer to pleasure. So all that we do here is we get into our ideal client's brain. If you are your ideal client, better. So what I mean by that is I actually help people do exactly what I did. So all that I have to do is talk about my story and those people who are where I am or where I was two years ago can really identify. So that's all I mean by niching down is I help people quit their day jobs. I help people find freedom and take their business full time when they're sick and tired of working another job of working for somebody else when they'd rather be working their business. Okay. So what do you want to be known for? Really all you, if you wanted to teach on a topic for 30 minutes, what would it be? If you can relate it to your personal story, awesome. If you can't, don't worry. You can use client stories or different ways to connect with your audience. But if you can relate to your personal story, amazing. Storytelling is a really, really easy, fun way to connect with potential clients as well as it, it's um, been my favorite way to share what I have to offer. So give it a try if you want to start digging into some stories on um, yourself, come on over to Work Smarter, Not Harder. I have a free workbook in the files tab that you can start drafting out your stories and really brainstorming on this. So if you have a ton of stuff that you're selling, so maybe you're in direct marketing or you have a business and you have a ton of awesome stuff, but it's just not selling, choose one product or set of products or one program 
and really identify with it. You can change it in the future, but for the sake of this exercise, for this four-step process of really growing, pick one, and you're going to see in step four, we're going to focus on it like crazy, like mad for two weeks. And what we call is this focus period. It really just, um, it narrows down exactly what you're known for and allows your clients to identify with you as well as it conserves your energy. If you can imagine, instead of trying to sell 10 things, you're really just focusing all your energy on one, it becomes much more easeful. Okay, step number three, creating your financial action plan. This doesn't have to be fancy, guys, but it has to be clear and defined. So rewrite your money story. You might have some links going on in your head that you find it hard to accept money or that your, your prices are too high or certain things. So without getting too deep into it, all you have to do is really start to focus on the good or on what you want. For example, I wrote a check to myself this month for $5,000. I've been coming in and out um, for the past two years. I've made five grand, but I've also made less every month. So I really declared for myself this month moving forward that I was going to have five grand plus months each month. So you create your financial action plan by um, not just writing out all your bills, but writing out your yoga membership, your travel, your desired income. How exactly how much would you like? You can break this down per month, per week. And what, where exactly is that money coming from? So um, if you have different ways, multiple revenue streams, you really break down exactly where that money is coming from, as well as have a category for surprise money or um, be open to other opportunities as well. And the extra step is giving that money a job. So do not use it all for debt repayment. Use some of it for marketing back into your business for yoga for f organic juices so that you're vibing at a higher level you're not just making money to pay bills because what kind of life is that that's kind of boring and it just um of course be responsible pay your bills but also dream a little bit and if you of course have three grand to scrape by then aim for five you don't want to scrape by this your whatever you focus on um, you will get. So always dream bigger because the last thing I want is you to go through this whole process and then be exactly where you are is just scraping by with your bit with your bills or vibing low because your business is just making enough. Okay, this step, I cannot tell you enough. A lot of people will get to step three and they're too scared to sell. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to ask for money stuff. I don't want to go live. I don't, I have a designation. Isn't that enough? Nope. You have to actually ask for the sale and you can do this in very authentic ways. You don't have to be a sleazy salesperson. All you do is share your story. And in order to sell, you must get in front of your audience consistently and you give them valuable content. Key piece here, make an offer over and over again until you hit your financial goals. Okay, so people will buy from you if you are... Um, it's the law of reciprocity. So if you give them valuable information, they're going to want more. Just like if you buy a friend a cup of coffee, they're going to want to buy you a cup of coffee next time. General rule, 90% value, 10% sell. I love two-week launch period. So all this means is you decide on what you want to sell or grow in your business and focus on it for 10 to 14 days. What this will do is it'll really focus your energy in without draining you or your potential clients. So you can do that in January. You can set it up and again, grab that workbook in under the files tab in my free um, community group. And it'll actually walk you through this, this process in more detail. Um, all right. So that's what it is. So you figure out your revenue generating activities. So all that that means is spend time in these things. For me, it's going live or doing trainings like this. My revenue generating generating activities are not fiddle around, fiddling around with my website or making things perfect or um, back end stuff. It's always getting in front of people and driving traffic to a specific sale. It's not just driving to my website. It's a specific sale. Okay, moving on. This is one of the things that I've been kind of praised for or people have asked my advice on. Steph, how do you do it authentically? How do you integrate your different sales streams without feeling creepy or annoying? 
it's possible. And my key offerings here are to run a business, not a charity. And you are not your product partner. So if you are in direct selling or you have a product that you're selling or you're doing affiliate, you are not your product partner. You are you. Offer your unique values and gifts and always come back to that 90% value, 10% share or 10% sell and you will do great things. So if you don't have a brand, don't worry about it. You are your brand, your name and your face and your unique gifts of what you have to share. So here's a recap so you can take some action before the end of the year. Step number one, brain dump. Make space for the magic. Step number two, what do you want to be known for? Decide your specific niche. Let us know in the comments. Share your business pages in the comments so we can support you. Step number three, determine exactly, exactly, exactly how much you want to make and how you will do this. Step number four, get in front of your audience consistently with value. And don't forget, ask for the sale and drive traffic to your offer. If people are hanging around listening to what you have to offer, they're going to want to know what's next. Okay, remember to your current vibe attracts your tribe, not the vibe you wish you were. So if you aren't feeling good, do not try to sell your product or program or drive traffic. Go feel better and then come back and do the work. Often the work within business, I would say 80% is mindset and um, personal development, personal growth. 20% is systems, processes, uh, techie stuff. Okay, here we are. 90% value, 10% sell or share. People will listen to you if you are A, entertaining them, or B, educating them. If you can do both, awesome. So a little bit of homework. Think about how you can get in front of more people. All of these ideas here are just ideas. I pretty much just do video. I don't really go to events. I, right? I'm just getting into guest posting and interviews. So these are all suggestions. You don't have to do them all. Figure out your um, zone of genius where you work well and go nuts with that. Um, if you want to practice going live, come join us in our free community group um, where we do a free go live for five challenge. And some of the people, business owners that have done it have, have straight up said, this is the best thing I could have done for my business. Okay, if you want more free trainings, come on over to my business page is where I'm streaming live right now, Stephanie McWilliams Coaching, as well as I've been chatting about Work Smarter, Not Harder, my free community group where we share all sorts of business tips and trainings, and specifically we go live for five. If you're scared to go live, don't worry, come join us anyways, check out other people's videos, and it might even encourage you and build your confidence to eventually go live for five. So if you're ready to attract your ideal client with ease, this community is for you. Let's go. Okay, so if you are have been listening and you are ready to grow in your business, you know this is the way. Come stay on the line. What I'm going to share with you are two offerings. One of them is my 90-day growth plan and one of them is a do-it-yourself program I've created all based around these four steps. So what to expect? You can expect a sense of peace and clarity moving forward with your business, complete confidence, and a plan of action to make your desired income. You can expect increased confidence in online marketing, sales, social media, sales pages, automations, affiliate programming, and so much more. So you can also expect the feeling of being fully supported while creating a business and a life that you love that was one of the things when I asked my recent coaches, what did you guys value the most was that support, that um, coaching, that oomph when they didn't think it was possible. So this is my 90 day growth plan. This is my signature offer where I walk you exactly through this process and key piece, I hold your hand through it because I know for me, having a coach was a major, major reason of why I, um, sorry, interruption, having a coach um, was a major reason of why I succeeded and was able to really transition, transition my business. So without getting in too much detail, all of the details are on the sales page, you get a welcome workbook, 
um, so that right when you press that purchase button, you're getting into action. You get six hours of video coaching with me or on the phone if you don't like video. I know when I first started with my coach, I refused. I didn't want to do video ever. So I totally get that. You get uh, my four-step system and action plan to grow specifically using social media and video if you want. You don't have to use video. There's other ways. Um, I've got the perfect worksheets to really, it, basically I'm asking you the right questions to draw out of you exactly how you want to be working. And at the end of the program, you're going to be working in your zone of genius and really authentically sharing your message. So one of the main things too, is the unlimited email support throughout the 90 days is huge. So whenever you have a post that you're unclear of or something that you just want to flip over to me to, to read, um, that's huge. And the way that I created this was actually how I transitioned my business. So I took all of the stuff that I found super useful and how I was able to go from burnout to success. And I created this program specifically for you guys. Okay, a little bonus. So I came from the health coach coaching world. So um, joining, pairing up with me, you actually get a sneak peek into all of the program content I've ever created. So you can use any of it that you want for your business, um, recipe, templates, eBooks, um, worksheets, automated lifestyle programs, weight loss programs, all sorts of stuff, as well as you get access and selling rights to my private group because they actually are hungry for wellness information. So if you are a health coach, then it's perfect. You, we get to share your offerings within this group. And um, that's really great if you don't have an audience or if you want to extend your reach and reach extra people who are hungry for wellness info. Okay, so one of my recent um, students here, this is what she has to say, and she actually wrote this before she even finished. Um, we are, she just finished up and sold out of her program. She's over the moon, and she writes, Stephanie came into my life at an incredible time. I had a lot of ideas as well as a lot of open-ended options and unfinished product, projects. She helped me remove the aspects of my business and life that weren't working and focus on my strengths. Her knowledge and understanding led me through learning curves, and she continues to answer pretty well every question I have related to marketing and growing my business. I made the right decision for me and my business to invest in her services. Awesome. And Nicole's at Eat Well Halifax if you want to look her up. Julia, this coaching, the coaching experience with Steph has exceeded my expectations. It has allowed me to approach launching my business as some something fun and life changing. Steph's support and encouragement to get outside my comfort zone has driven me to make inspiring changes and there's more to come. Awesome, Julia has done crazy things with her business. She